We have to get used to being used, taken advantage of. If you truly want to be a Christian, if you truly want to be a servant of God, you have to get used to being used. I know that many of us don't like to be used. I know for myself, I really dislike it. But when it comes down to the Bible, we have to get used to being used. Now, I really didn't want to go to the scripture here. I just wanted to speak on it, but let's go to it. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 42. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Give to him or her that asketh thee, and from him or her that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. So this is saying, when someone comes up to you, I am not saying that you have to give them all your money and stuff like that. What I am saying, give them something. Even if you know that they are using you. For instance, maybe a year ago, this one person was telling me why he needed money. And I could easily tell this person was lying. This person said that they were going to pay me back and stuff like that. But I could easily see that this person was clearly lying so poorly, lying so badly. And I was like, you know what, man? I really don't want to give you anything. You know, I was saying that in my mind. But I gave to that person anyways. Even when I did not want to give to that person because I know that, why did I give to that person? It does not matter who it is. It doesn't matter to a certain extent what good deed that you do. As long as you are helping people, even when they are using you, it is going to pay off for you every single time. Even if you don't see the evidence of your good works, as in, or should I say, even if you don't see the fruit of your good works, they are going to Whatever you sow, you are going to reap. And I know that many of us have been used and you are like, hey, I am not going to be used again, so I am not going to help out people, so on and so on, whatever. You want God to bless you, but you are not willing to follow his principles. His promises, in order to receive his promises, we have to follow his ways. If we don't follow his ways, how can we expect to receive his promises? You want to get blessed by God, right? Yes. In order to get his promises, you have to follow his rules. What if you are trying to fix your car and you don't follow the rules on how to fix a car properly? Are you going to get the end product that you are trying to receive? Are you going to get what you want out of that car? Is that car going to operate in the correct manner? No. Likewise, if you don't follow the rules of God, how can you get his promises? Yes, I know that there is grace and stuff like that, but what I am speaking about, how are you going to get his promises if you are not willing to follow his rules. 
I just don't want to be used, Kevin, because so many people used me and they hurt me. I'm in pain. Can't you see the pain? Yes, I can see the pain. But who cares? We all are in some type of pain. We all have been hurt. Everyone has. So what makes your hurt different from everyone else that have been hurt? Don't become self-centered, only caring about things of yourself in your family, if that. Perhaps yourself. I pray that this makes sense. Look, man, if you really want to reach people, and I had to learn this myself, if you really want to reach people, you have to show unconditional love for people. So that means even when they hurt you, hey, I have my heart still open for you so you can take in other stab at it a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time, and a fifth time. Take as many stabs as you want. I am here for you, and I care for you. And when you need me, I am going to be here for you. I may not do everything right, but I will try to be there for you. If you want to reach people, you have to be that way. You can't just get hurt and then shut yourself down and not willing to intervene with other people. You can't be that way. How can you be a shut off Christian? <laughs> a shut off Christian. How can you be that way? People need your help or need to talk to you. No, no, no. I just have been hurt, so I have to close myself off. You can't be that way. I am not saying that you have to be talking to people all day, every day. I am not saying that you have to give all your money to people and stuff like that. Well, it would be good if you do so. But what I am saying, you have to be there for people. I know that many churches don't teach you this. They teach you, hey, sow a seed, put some money in this church, and God is going to bless you but they are teaching you like one tiny insignificant, no, one tiny segment of the gospel, just one tiny bit, but there are other things that are cursing you, but they just teaching you one tiny thing that is going to, if everything else is wrong, how can you just do that one tiny thing and change everything else? I pray that makes sense. <laughs> so a seed. <laughs> so I pray that this makes sense. God bless. <laughs>